Okay, it looks like I'm live. Sometimes it, I have to reload for some reason. I don't know why, but I'm here. So I hope everybody's having a good day today. And we're going to be doing my file folder again. So I've got some ideas and today we're gonna be doing squirrels. <laughs> Because that's what I'm having problems with in my garden right now. Hey, Christy. Hey, Lena. Shauna. Good to see you. Hey, Lena, do you want to be a mod? Just so I have an extra person. Hey, Gina. Dot. Uh, oh, wow. <laughs> you may make regret it. <laughs> Here you go. You got a wrench. <laughs> so everybody doing okay? It's a beautiful day. It's cooled down a little bit, but it's been blistering hot here. Very humid too. I don't mind heat, but not with the humidity. And every and we haven't had any rain, which is bad. good to see you. So I'm going to be doing some, uh, I'm not sure if it's going to be pen and watercolor or acrylic. I haven't decided yet, but I am going to be doing uh, a squirrel digging in my flower pots. And that's what I've been <laughs> battling. <laughs> and They've been digging in my vegetable garden, but I managed to get them out of that by fencing it and putting a netting over top and <laughs> weaving it. It's a big ordeal. <laughs> uh, finally ordered another one of Claudia Pen and Ink books. Oh, awesome. Yeah, I love her books. And she, and she's, she does have um, classes on, um, oh, what is it? um artist network that are really good she's a really good teacher turn them into bushes <laughs> turn what into bushes <laughs> uh me too from you showing oh hey janet So hopefully I'm able to, well, actually I did. I, cause I clip Chloe's hair and I always keep her hair because I put it um, when I plant bulbs, I'll put it uh, over top of the bulbs and they don't touch it. Then when they dig down, they reach some fur and they, they stop. So that's what I did in my flower pots. And so far it's working. So I just put it on the surface and sprinkled some, um, flower or flower some soil over top and now seems to have stopped them from digging my plants up <laughs> so I'm happy hi Eileen oh cool you're, you're what kind of plants are you putting in dot just annuals or begonias Good to see everybody. Hey, Devin. Yeah, so that's what I'm gonna journal about. <laughs> my, my fighting the squirrels. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't know if uh, 
Do you have problems like that in the UK? The darn squirrels digging up your plants? Janet said pots, but she means. <laughs> oh, dear. Hey, Joan. Good to see you. And I've got a plant beside me. I just had to show it. It's blooming. And it's, a, this, um, it's an orchid cactus. Uh, there's another name for it. I can't think of it. But I go by orchid cactus. Oh, thanks, Lena. <laughs> oh, we're a good pair. Major ena enablers. <laughs> and I gave her the wrench. <laughs> yeah. So I thought I'd show you this. It's huge. The plant itself is huge. Like That's the tip of the... <laughs> it's about four feet wide right now. And about mm, maybe two feet tall. I have those problems, but I think it is cat. Oh, yes, cats will do that, too. Darn things. So this is, and it gets full of these. That's the flower. Isn't that gorgeous? It's not showing. It's actually a hot pink. It's not really showing it, the real true color. It's, it's truly a hot pink, like a lipstick hot pink. They have no scent, but they're so awesome looking. And they only last for a few days, but they're gorgeous. I love them. I have one pink one and I have a red one. Yeah, it's, it's a huge plant. The buds, they come on. See, that's a baby. So I just thought I'd sh share that. Usually see them in the uh, Mexico, that type of. Uh... Eileen, you could probably grow them outside. Yes, with ours is gray squirrel killing. Oh, lovely, the red squirrel. Oh, yeah, they can be really mean. Yeah, red squirrels and um, gray or, or black squirrels, they don't get along. Actually, not too far away from us, in a little town, we have white squirrels in Exeter. And they're really cool to look at. There's a whole bunch of them. They actually have busloads of tourists <laughs> that come down to see them. Nothing grows? Oh, please. You got to get the pool boy. <laughs> to start planting and watering it for you. Keep them around a little longer. <laughs> Our red squirrels are really beautiful. Yeah, I like the looks of them, but they're little buggers. And too, the red squirrels steal the um, songbirds' eggs. They're really bad for that here. I haven't seen too many of those. I'm just going to put this plant away so I can actually see. Just hold on while I move it. All right. So last week we did the um, where did I put it? the little bunnies and they're gone. Yay! <laughs> I planted my vegetable garden. I actually had to go catch them after that last stream, and I let them all out of the their playpen. <laughs> and they all went hopping off into uh, the neighbor's uh, wood pile. Uh, 
Oh, you got red squirrels, do you? And we two here in Denmark. They are cute and they are white. The white tummies, yeah. A red squirrel already. Funny graduation, yep. <laughs> they graduated. <laughs> yep, <laughs> into the neighbors. <laughs> And he just put a vegetable garden and he hasn't fenced it in yet. So I'm thinking, okay, they probably won't bother my flowers this year. <laughs> so I thought, remember when I was telling you about um, this would look really cute um, in a frame? So I found this. This is actually um, a Prima packaging of a stencil. It's kind of looks like um, some kind of a fabric, maybe linen, that type of thing. So I thought, see, now wouldn't that look cute if you got some um, fabric and put it on the background of a picture for, in the picture and then uh, framed it? That would be really cute. You never get any flowers? I love those bird of paradise. Sheesh, you're not talking to it properly, Eileen. Come on. <laughs> Didn't you know you have to talk to your plants? Feed them a little bit? <laughs> so I thought oh, that would be really cute. And then I started thinking, I want to duplicate this. <laughs> you never get any. <laughs> yeah, fertilize it, Eileen. So I thought I would try and make a background. I might use this as a tip-in and put the bunnies on it. And then I'm going to make the squirrel part here. So I got some Lindy sprays out again. Now where did I put those? And I got out, where did I put it? Oh, I lost it already. Let me think. No. And I thought, I got this. Why not? Use bits of this and spray through it. Well, now what Selena is saying is because the delivery guy from the Amazon. <laughs> yeah, that could happen. And I also have. This stuff. So you could spray through this too. That would be cool. This is for Christmas decorating. I don't know what you maybe I don't know what you'd use it for, but I bought it for art. <laughs> Same with this. So I think I'll try and spray through this and maybe some of that. I don't know. Let's cut a piece of this off. They have some neat stuff. You gotta think outside the box when you're looking at stuff for Christmas, any holiday. Okay, just some cool stuff. You can, you know, scrunch it up, make it go in different directions, and then move it again. 
know if I have to tape it, but. Put it up a bit so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, you want me to bring you in a little bit? So I can do that. There we go. Let's me think. Tape. Just so that I lay down a bit. I'm not going to, like, I'm going to spray it in um, patches, I guess. Let's put this here. Oh, I like. Fringe. Tangy? Never heard of it. I'll have to look that one up, Dot. Might have to hold it down. Spray. This could get messy. <laughs> Good. Let's see what I can do here. Put some stuff down and hold it down while I spray. Okay, I have some Lindy's. These are the flat ones. This one's called South Shore Sand. I don't know how dark it's going to be, so we'll just try it. Let's see what happens. Very light. Doing anything? I wonder if it's too fine. Or let's, I know, I'm going to try um, maybe paint. Does it a bit. Not a lot, though. Let's see if it transfers any. A little bit. I think it needs to be thicker. Let's see what. Oh, let's dry it first. Can you make sprays from the magical and hot water? That, yeah, I can. Why are you asking me to? <laughs> Is that what you're asking? You really want me to get <laughs> magical stuff? <laughs> okay. <laughs> She's trying to lead me down the path of messiness. I just know it. <laughs> I 
Well, that's what these are. These are magicals in a spray form because when you get them, they're it's the magicals and you just add the water to them. So I already did it, Eileen. <laughs> I just want to, I have tape marks now. Okay, let's try a rare. We'll try Ian's suggestion. Do I have a brayer? Hmm. I don't know if I have a soft brayer. I don't I think I may only have a hard brayer. We'll see. Let me check. Guys can see. And... Yeah. Try this one. All right, here we go. I don't think it's doing much. I think you need a really... You know what we should do is just do it on the jelly print. Yeah, it didn't do anything. Didn't do a thing. Not a thing. Hey, Jilly. Hey, Kathy. Use gum Arabic with pearl. <laughs> Jesus, Murphy. <laughs> you just can't stand it, Eileen. Yeah, you, you gotta. <laughs> Let me think. I really want to get. Just to make this one thing, I guess we have to get this out. It's so fine, though. I think I need it, needs to be. Um, Paper. 
Yeah, it might be. Ian. True, true. Yeah, look at that. Hardly, hardly at all. Oh, but it did leave something on the jelly plate. Oh, quick. Poor guy. Did leave something. Hi, Kate. I don't think I've seen you here before. Welcome. Pattern on the plate. Hi, Deb. Yeah, that's cool. It's a little more what I wanted. Kind of messy. Not bad. There's still a little bit on there. Let's get some white here. I'll just throw on. Uh, hi, I watch uh, your record videos. I never have time. Oh, well, welcome. Glad you're here. I should be. I got it on a bit of a slant. I should take it so I can properly do this. Take it out. I don't have the other paper for some reason. I don't know where I put it. I'm just going to Yeah, Cece's great. I love her stuff. And she's very calming. <laughs> now that's cool. The nice model background. I like that. That'll be good for something. So that wasn't a complete fail. So good. So put this back. Now. My brayer <laughs> reasonably clean so I don't have that build up. All right. And I have this too. This is a stamp. I don't know where it came from. There's no thing on it. So but that would be cool too. We could stamp some stuff. I have some dandelion or Lupia. And I like stamping so it's not even. It's more distressed looking than anything else. Hopefully this ink was okay. Yeah. 
put some down here, come up here. Cool. That I like that stamp. So I didn't want it to have it really, really pronounced, so I just used the sepia. So that's cool. Messy. All right. Book. All right, where did I put the book? There it is. So I got the Claudia Nice book out. And she's got squirrels. So we're going to draw one of these squirrels. And I think I'm going to do this guy here. Any questions? That was one of my splatter birds I did quite a few years ago where you just spray and then you dab a little bit of ink and, and then a little bit of watercolor. Hey, Paula. Thank God for uh, YouTube, eh? <laughs> I, I learn everything. If I have to do something, I look up YouTube. <laughs> they usually have someone on that knows how to do whatever it is you want to do. So we're going to do this guy. Let me take some of these sprays off my table. So I get a little extra room here. I didn't quite know what I was going to do. Oh, before I forget, um, Janet, you wanted to see these books? I'm pretty sure I showed these before. Pen and ink drawing guides. I can't remember who it was that we were watching I think it was in chat, or maybe it was, uh, who was it? They said they got this and they loved it, and then I said I would show it. So it's all about shapes, you know, different types of pen work, more or less. It's not about pencil drawing, it's more pen work. And then you can get the workbook so you can do whatever he's doing to practice. It's a good book. I love his, his style too. He's a really great artist. He's on YouTube also. It was Tori. Okay, yeah. Really good books. I do like them. So you can get the book, either one. Yeah, they are good, Ian. Really a good idea for if you're specifically going to do pen. 
pen and ink. It's all about the cross hatching, that type of thing. <laughs> Sorry, Kathy. <laughs> I do. I know. Boy, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I do have one other one. Where did I put it? I was going to do. I just had it out. Where did I put it? It wasn't meant to be. Oh, no, there it is. Janet, I really like this one. This is an older one, though. But if you like botanical drawing, this is an excellent book. You probably have it, though. It's all about the different types of botanical art uh, drawing. Um. different types of painting too it's just not watercolor it's all um, acrylic you have similar to this one yeah I really like this one working in the field and Yeah, I just thought I'd show you that, just in case you didn't have it. <laughs> All right, let's get some, find my pencil. Yeah, it is a nice book. Buy candy and it's, an, it's really, um, instructional type of book like you do get a lot of out out of it but it's not too length uh lengthly that that you kind of get bored of reading about it they're kind of to the point which is what i like The big, Ill oh, yeah, the um, encyclopedia one. This one? Yeah, if you want, this is great for, if you want to draw something every day, or there's a specific thing you want to draw, because it gives you the uh, step out of each thing. So there's like birds, structural, people, tools. It's got everything in here. So there's no way you could not find something to draw. <laughs> Animals. Oh, it's different? I love this one. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to do this, this guy here. Press the spine down a little bit so you can see. Oh, yeah, maybe it's the Laws one. That's right. Uh, I have that one, too. That holds my camera. That holds your camera. <laughs> okay, so what I'm thinking, I'm going to have a, a flower pot here.
because that's the problem I've been having. Darn squirrels been digging my plants right out, little buggers. And we'll have him climbing over the pot. So let's see, his little foot would be coming out here. Maybe that, something be there. Yeah, that should do. And his little chest. Kind of leaning over the pot. And he's got one foot in. We don't we won't see his hand or paw, whatever it is. And let's see, his shoulder will be about here. And little face. Right about here. Got little ears. Nose here. And he's got a cheeks full of stuff. Cheeks are full. And his eye is about there. Don't really see that one there. So let's see. Bring that down a little bit. And I guess that's a little bit high there. Okay, maybe I should bring that over. I think so. I'm going to make the pot bigger. There, looks a little better. 
All right, so it's hard, kind of hard to see. There's the pot. So he's climbing up over the pot. All right, let's see what everyone's saying in chat. Teachy thing to figure out. What's that, Chris? Oh, oh, it's you. <laughs> Hi. You're, you got on. Awesome. Yeah, it's not hard. <laughs> Chris West likes my sister, in case you, you forgot. <laughs> She's not techie. All right, so I think I'll have to do it in craft paint. Eileen, you're getting your way because I can't put watercolor over top of this. It's already got craft paint on it. So we will need some of this color, which is antique gold in the... Um, Delta ceramic coat. That's an old one. I still can't join from my iPad or iPhone help. Um, Elaine, um, oh, uh, Lena or, or Janet, can you go to my channel page and in the about? There should be a link to the join button for Elaine. <laughs> Paul. <laughs> yeah, or open Safari. You can do that too. I will need kind of a peachy color. That's more like it there. Yeah, maybe that color there. And Dark burnt umber. Yeah. So this is going to be a fairly loose, more of a watercolor ex ex um, look to it. I don't want it really thick. All right, so we got, this one is French vanilla. Or if you're using um, regular artist quality paint, a buff color would be okay. And then there's dark burnt umber and you can Get that in your artist quality too. Thanks, Janet. Hey, CB. And 
Now about the membership, uh, I do have some dates. I will post it on the community tab, um, but I can tell you what's what. Um, on June 10th, Wednesday, there will be a live stream for my budding artists at the level two. And it will be at um, one o'clock. And the level one, there will be a new video for you and a work, um, a traceable on June 16th. That's a Tuesday. And Anyone that joins the third level, which is Blooming Artists, um, there will be an art lesson on the last Wednesday of each month at 1 o'clock Eastern. So I'll, I'll po post that on the community tab. So if you have any questions, let me know. Just leave a message on the community tab and I'll get back to you or in Twitter, Instagram. Are they not showing his links? Tweet them to us. Huh. Okay. Might have to fix that. That was the link they said to put in. Which is weird. Okay, I'm going to give it a light coat of the vanilla, French vanilla um, color. So I want it not too, too thick. And it's just going to be a base coat. Because I still want to be able to see where everything is. It's almost the color of this uh, folder, actually. So I could actually just use the color of the folder. That's a little ears. A little bit lighter on his little arm here. And his shoulder. So I'm just using the uh, vanilla color for the real light areas, which is right in here in his face and then there will be a bit along the side here that's the nice thing about acrylics is you can always go over it Just gonna scribble in a little bit here, his chest. Around his eye. And I like using the craft paint, especially in your journals because it doesn't stick and 
you can use colored pencils over top of it because it's got a bit of tooth. No live links? Huh. Um, can you go into my community page? If you're on an Apple product. Or go on Safari. You have to go on to um, a browser. Go through uh, Safari. I'm just using kind of a dry brush effect. Just to give them a little bit of fur. And I can always go over top of it with a wash of glaze. Uh, no, Kathy, live links are. I'll try going via Safari. Yeah, try uh, via Safari and see, and let me know what happens. <clears throat> so, live links, you mean when I'm live? Apple products. <laughs> Very dark under here. I'm just going to give a little bit of a, a wash in here. Here, I think in chat her working Apple products aren't. Oh, okay. Weird. Very dark in here.
Kathy, did you take the link from your membership page in YouTube Studio? Um, I can't remember if I did or not. I'm just doing the darkest darks right now in the furry areas. So it's just going over, it's layer, all about layering. So if you goof up, nice thing about acrylics is you just go right over top of it. Okay, let's get some of this peachy color. I'm going to go over top of a lot of this with pen. It needs a little bit more in here, the light color, his ear. And right here. And then I go back to the brown. Wash, I think, in here. It's all about layers.
I think that ear's a bit close to the eye. I'm going to have to fix that. And I have to finish the eye because it's very tiny. Let's see, we'll move it over a bit. Uh, where else? More of a wash in here. And down here. The jowls. Yeah, his nose is a little bit off, but you can work with it. Oh, awesome! Thanks, guys. You <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Welcome to the group. Now, if you too, if you anybody has ideas that I haven't covered, or you'd like to know more about, suggest it in the in the community members page because I will definitely put it on my list. <laughs> welcome, welcome. <laughs> yep, I have emojis too. I'll be putting more up. Let's see. There will be a lot more stuff coming up. This is so new to us that have started this. That it's, it's a little bit of a learning curve. <laughs> so bear with us. There will be a lot more coming for sure. All right, let's dry that. It's starting to ripple a bit. <laughs> Thanks, Devin.
Yep, that's what he does, Lena. He browses to check out things and then he lifts, unplants my plants and then sticks the nuts and uh, down below and then covers them up and doesn't put my plant back in. Like if he put his pl my plant back in, I wouldn't be so upset. I should put a plant hanging off the side. <laughs> Okay, let's do the pot here. So it'll be a terracotta pot. Probably. I got one here called Dark Goldenrod. And then there's this one here, and it's called Cayenne. We'll see. Yes, I have affiliated links in Amazon. Helps me out. A little few cents for each dollar spent. It does help. All right, let's see what this, I think this maybe mix the two. So here's the two colors I have here. I'm going to just see if I mix the two. Yeah, that's not bad. I'm going to do a base coat again. This one can be a little bit stronger. And um, I am going to put a printable up for that other painting that I did of the sunset with the boat in the water. I have it ready. I, I'll probably put it up tonight. And that will be for everybody because I, uh, <laughs> I goofed. <laughs> I goofed for the, um, I guess you can't schedule a membership video and if, if you can I, I haven't found out how to do it but anyways so that one's there kind of a teaser I guess you could say of what you will get so if you want to take a look at that so I do a step-by-step -step on the whole process. Yeah, if you just go through my affiliated link, you don't have to buy. You just press on something on my link. It takes you into... Um, Amazon and then you can search from there for whatever you want but I still get a little a little something doesn't matter what you buy yeah my sneak peek a little bit of gray 
in there. Maybe some orange with it. Should heap it for where he's digging it. All right. Let's put, I'm just going to add a little bit of down here and then just fade it out. Let's dry that up a bit. Yes, it does, Dot. I've got a UK link also. If you go on my main page or under any of my um, other videos, there will be a link for the UK site. No hitting allowed, Kathy. going to put a little bit of so we got this, this is the color here of the clay pot we add a little bit of this color just to lighten it and we would probably See it on the top here. So just where it would be lighter. And then I'm going to just take some of it off. And then just dry brush right here. Back and forth. And then you can do the same. Make sure it's a dry brush and then you can just go down. Kind of gives you depth when you do this.
Sometimes there's some um, moss and that type of thing. You can put that on too. I knew you were going to say that, Eileen. Yes, yes, acrylics have their benefits. Watercolor, too. Okay, let's put some dark in this a little bit. So I'm going to add a little bit of this raw umber, or no, burnt. What was it? Dark burnt umber to this color here, just to darken it. And underneath the this part, the lip, just darken it a bit. Then, from the side here, it'll be a little bit darker. And of course, you have your shadow on the bottom. I could also use colored pencil to do this if I wanted to. Oh no, Tori. All right, I think I need a little bit more light. I could do it just with a colored pencil. So. All right, I'm gonna make some moss. And what I'm gonna do is use, hopefully I can find it. Let's see. 
So just get a nice sea sponge. It's all got lots of holes and stuff in it. And get another palette. We get some green. This is called celery green. Spread it around for a bit. Take my sponge. Let's see. And we'll just add a little bit of just lightly. And add a little bit of a, dim, a different darker green. This is just a little bit lighter. And you just and then take your brush. Just wipe off some areas that you don't want. Before it dries. Or you can go back over it too. Sometimes they kind of get white on pots also. Gonna do a little bit more touch up here. Right here. So then we could probably make some shadow here for the pot. So just water your paint down. I'll bring it out a little bit. There. 
All right. Now, let's try that. Oh, wow. That'd be scary. I remember in my old house, <laughs> my, um, got struck by lightning and I saw the bolt of lightning come through the house and it hit my smoke alarm of all things. It was really weird. Luckily, it was um, when I was awake and laying in bed and saw it. Oh, wow. I know. What, of all things to get hit, the smoke alarm. <laughs> Weird. Although that was, house was haunted, so who knows. That's the base of our little guy. Now, the next part I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do it with colored pencil because I don't want to use my um, microns on this because this is acrylic. It wrecks your pens in no time flat. So I'm going to get my pencil crayons out. Okay. Pablo's. Well, this guy, um, it's going to be mostly a dark umber color. Uh, you could also go probably black. It's not going to make too much of a difference. Let's see. There's a nice black one or dark. This one is... Bister gold. I'm going to sharpen it. See how dark it is. So, as you can see in the picture, it's 
see how much it's you have to pay attention to your direction of like look at this one here the direction of the way the fur is going and that's you do very short strokes and you see it gets fewer um it's more concentrated in the shadowed areas than say on the lighted areas but you still have to put some in just to show that it's fur but if they're further apart you gotta um, think of those things when you're you're doing this type of ink work. So this guy, he's gonna need a whole lot more color down here. Let's see if it's gonna be dark enough. Might. Yeah, should work. And um, don't like do them real straight. Do them a little bit um, overlapping here and there. Just makes it a little more realistic looking. Let's see if that's, I think I need black. I think it needs to be darker. I think it does. Yeah, that's better. Wasn't doing it. And this does take a while, but really does make the difference if you like this type of. Um, art. I do myself, but you could just leave it the way it was and add a little more paint. Fix this nose here a little bit. The eye. The nice thing about doing this type of um, drawing though, Eileen, is that when you have watercolor, you can use your micron pens. <laughs> so there is benefits.
purple ear a little bit off. So just adding mostly where the darkest shaded areas are. The face doesn't show a lot of um, fur marks. Let's see. darker in here. You can do dry brushing if you just want to use the paint. Like here, this is dry brushing here. And it'll, it looked good, so. Darker in there. Here. The little whiskers. Here, well, I don't see them a lot, but they're there.
They know how to define his little paw things. Neat. Make some darker areas where the creases would be. Right. There, bugger. <laughs> All right. So, put a little bit more. Definition in here. Oil. Thanks, Joan. Then we get some white. Add a little bit for some tips of his fur there where the sun would be shining a little bit. Let's see, I think his nose should be, that's what I didn't do. Hmm. What can we use? When we're there, right here, yes, he does, Dot. He is determined. <laughs> He's going to. Get that flower out of there. Let's see. I guess I should have some dirt. Maybe I'll paint it. Uh, anything else I need in here? Let's see. Uh, I think that should do it. Welcome back, CB. 
All right, now what can we do? It should always ground your whatever you are drawing. Don't leave it um, without a shadow on the bottom because it looks like they're floating. So if you ground it, it helps your composition. So See, we can ground a little bit more here. Get dirt with white to get a few details. Yeah. So just a little bit. So that it looks like All right. Where did I just put that? Oh, there it is. Okay. Here. Yes, I know, Lena, I have them. Um, Japanese, she can show it. Who is asking? Did anyone know the pencils I'm talking about? They're really high, good quality. They can't remember the brand. What, you want me to show the whole bind? I think he's patting down seats. I wish. <laughs> no, he's lifting them and eating them. <laughs> See, his cheeks are full. Dabbler are interested in Holbein and we love to see it. <laughs> okay, I can show you the, I'll put this aside and I'll show you what Holbein's look like. They are good. They're expensive, but they're good. Precious. I'll have to Yep. These oh, I'm missing one. I must have it somewhere. So the pastels and then your fluorescence you get with it. And that's your regular colors. They're beautiful to work with. You can't go wrong with them. And the white is to die for. It goes on anything. It's better than the Prisma. And they also have one called Soft White. And it goes on anything. And you have Metallics also. Which are nice, actually. Uh, here's your two whites. So 
So you can get this one is plain white and this one is soft white. And I'll show you what it does. Uh, can I put it on? Oh, try it on here. So this here. You hardly have to press. This is just the plain white. That's the soft white. Here's a Prisma. So the soft white goes on Beautiful. So, soft white, white, Prisma. Yep, the soft white. The white is just as good as Prisma, just the plain white one. But the soft white is much better. Unfortunately, you can't get here in Canada, you cannot get individual um, colors. You have to order them from, from Japan. And who knows if we can get them now. <laughs> With all the rigmarole going on. Janet, you've got these, do you not? I thought you had these. Yeah, they're awesome. Gold. We have three different gold. There's um, pale gold, gold, and bronze. Paper. Show you how shiny. Oh, you're welcome. So this is the pale gold. So it's got a bit of a shine, not, not a lot, but. <laughs> You're going to learn something. <laughs> you going to come to class? See? <laughs> yep, she is. She's my twin. They are nice. Let's see what the um, and it comes with two silvers also, um, platinum and what is it? Antique silver and I guess they. I don't use a lot of metallics with colored pencil. I guess they'll have their place, but. Um, I don't know where I put that other one. Oh, maybe it's not. I don't know. Let's see what the uh, I know uh, that Miriam that does the um, she has the Karen Dosh, I believe.
Woo, yeah, this is bright. Uh, you can't see it. It is like shocking <laughs> neon. It doesn't show though on um, Yeah, it doesn't show, but they are really, really bright. They are lovely. They're creamy, and I like them. They're great for uh, blending. And they live in their own house. I won't. <laughs> it's the only one I don't shove last elastics around. <laughs> There's the little guy. Now, what I was thinking of doing, actually, we could even use this too. No, I think I'll do this. I was thinking of cutting one of a bit of this out. And using it as something to put this on. So we could. See what's that side actually? Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut this. So, save your packaging from these, were from stencils. Ah, it just fits. Let's see. How big do I want it? Probably. my way of measuring. <laughs> Do I want it like that? Hmm. I don't really want that showing. So just thinking out loud. Like that, I guess. So I'm going to make this I'm just trimming it so just to there that should fit all right Almost. Just about. I can still use that. Enjoying my last day as a model. Why? What do you mean your last day as a mod? Lena, she's going to cut you off. <laughs> Are you misbehaving, Lena?
That's kind of wonky. Let's cut that off. Okay. So we can put this on there. He was being a back. <laughs> what? That's hard to believe. So if I have it like that. I'll have to bring it over though. I'm just going to use this as a score, scoring thing. Yeah, well, there. Get my all, or not my all, my. Embosser. So I can uh, make a little flap. See, and he's still peeking up over the thing. Then I can just put, um, now I could glue something on this so it just hinges it, like, so I can set it on in, in something like a tuck. <laughs> well, let's. Um, now where would I have put my tape? I know I have it, but where? When you put stuff away thinking I'll tuck it here and then you never find it which is <laughs> what I'm going to right now I'm going to have to search for it another time but we can find a tuck maybe buttons two little buttons here that you could have it against that would be cute because you're cute as buttons <laughs> Oh, she's a little crazy, Dorothy. Not a lot. <laughs> oh. <laughs> she...
Let's see. I got a button. Right on. This is cute. I have a little baby. Those would be cute. Little clothes pegs. Although they would be kind of in the way. <laughs> they work. They beat out too much. Let's see what else we got here. And green buttons. I have um, wooden ones. I have a little um, birds. Let's see. That's a cute button right there. You wouldn't have to have it on that side. You could put it. Cute now it looks like he's guarding, <laughs> guarding the nest. Sparkly ones, the little tiny ones, those are fairly thin. How thin are those? Oh, they're fairly thin. <clears throat> What else could we put? Or leaves. I could do leaves. That might be easier. It has to be big enough. Or we can make a um, I wish I had those great big 
paper clips. Let's see. Could sew these on somehow. So that we could paper clip it. I don't know. We had this too. Maybe we'll do this. For these. That's a big one. I could go across. I don't know. Or a ribbon. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut this. So it can slip in right there, here. And there should take an exacto knife. And where did I put my? Yeah, like that. So you can still put something on the back there. I wish I could find my darn tape. Oh.
Could put those there. Something in there, or a pocket, or something in there. Or just leave it. There. That's May. Then I can just write May here. I think I have thicker letters I could put there for me. All right, I think that worked. So you guys still working on your file folders. Thanks, guys. Yeah, it turned out good. I like it. He's cute. <laughs> or I could actually, I could uh, do a little story here. And I can do a story on the back of this also. Thanks, E.B. Thanks, Dot. Thanks, Tori. Uh, I am adding stuff. It's time for a new one. June 1st. Yep, June 1st coming. All right, so... For all you new members, there's already um, videos up in the community tab if you want to um, go there and watch them. And uh, the first live stream will be on June 10th, which is a Wednesday. And we'll, I will give a list of supplies needed to do this. It, it's going to be a lesson and it'll be a step-by-step -step, um, and it, it's going to be mixed media. So it could be a mix of different watercolor plus inks plus 
acrylic plus collage. <laughs> I'll, I'll let you know what it's going to be about. Um, oh, I am just adding um, more glue and empty seed packets. Oh. oh, that's a good idea, Lena. Yeah. Awesome idea. Thanks. Aw, oh, thanks, Kathy. Thanks, Chris. That is so hard calling you Chris. Do I have to? <laughs> Can I use your nickname? <laughs> Yep, yeah, welcome to the joint. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Okay, we'll we'll see you all on the internet somewhere. I'm not sure who's on tonight, if anyone is, or who's on tomorrow. But uh, yeah, we'll see you somewhere. So have a great weekend and stay creative. Bye for now.